know, the knife surrender has been running for the past month, um, during which we estimate you've had around about 300 knives surrendered from across the county. Um, and we've had opportunity through social media to speak to around about 170,000 people. And we believe through um, a number of newspaper articles, radio interviews, television interviews, um, contact about 100,000 people. What this has really given us the opportunity to do is have a number of conversations within the community about the importance and the dangers of carrying knives. Um, I think it's done really well. Uh, 300 potential fatal weapons off the street is a huge success. Um, again, you know, it's not it's not every weapon. I think it, that is 300 is a lot, but it's still a small percentage of what is still out there. But it's 300 less fatal weapons. Hey, clearly the knife surrender is only the beginning of the work. Whilst it's important to bring knives off the streets, this is really about raising awareness. It's about continuing the community conversations. It's about continuing with diversionary work in schools utilising ex-offenders who have real life stories to tell in relation to knife crime. I mean, surrender your knife. I mean, you don't need to carry a knife, knife for personal safety. Um, if you're carrying it on you and you get into an altercation, it's, it's not to say that you're not going to pick it up or it's going to be used against you. And I think just think before you pick up any weapon. Um, you don't need to. It's, it's not the cool thing to do, you know. It's actually very, very damaging to a victim's family and to the family of the person that actually uses the knife themselves.